Bayang magiliw, pelas ng silanganan. This is just celebration of authentic, you know, um, culture of the Philippines. Today is the 125th Filipino Independence Day. It is really important to share our culture because this state is very diverse. Jonah Balmwamba is part of the Filipino American Community of Colorado, or FACC, which has put on this festival for the last 28 years. We're selling our popular Filipino food. Okay, I got one halo halo ready. Whether you're here for the lumpia, shopping at local businesses, or dancing. This is a home away from home. The community will embrace you. The Filipinos, we are very, very hospitable and we welcome everybody. Me? Expressing? Never. I don't do that. This is an inclusive space where everyone is invited to celebrate culture and community. Out here to support not only the Filipino community, but Filipinos who also identify as queer. Briggs founded the organization Queer Denver in January. They have a booth set up at this year's Philippines Festival. And I had this one person come up to us and tell me how they're Filipino and they're queer, but people always separate it. They're like, oh, you can only be Filipino or you can only be queer. You can only be one or the other. And they were really appreciative of what we were doing. They're making cards of encouragement for queer youth in Denver and raising money to make back to school bags for queer and trans students. <laughs> Because that's what being queer means. It means fighting for everyone, regardless of what race you are, what identity you identify with. You, we have to be here for everybody. It's a festival where everyone is welcome and celebrated. We are a very tight-knit you know, community. Once you are in our community, we consider you as our family. Courtney Yoon. So you should come. Nine News.